Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Hedera and HBAR. And before we fully jump on into this video, I just want to ask for all those HBAR variants out there, how does it feel to be on the right side of history in the making? Because as we look at DLT technology and we look at crypto, it is only a matter of time before the entire infrastructure, the core infrastructure that everything and everyone utilizes on a daily basis is running on digital rails powered by DLTs like Hedera. And I just want to ask, how does it feel to be in a market like this in its infancy when it's so undervalued? Comment down below and also hit that like button if you guys haven't already. And let's jump into the most insane thing ever. So three weeks ago, Hedera crossed 3 billion transactions. Today, less than one month later, we are at 4 billion transactions. How long until we cross the 5 billion transaction line? Exciting to see Hedera Hashgraph and its ecosystem gain momentum. A year of congrats ahead to Hedera and the HBAR Foundation. And yeah, this is absolutely insane. I mean, like, I I'm going to be full transparent with you guys, like fully transparent with you guys. It's almost 10 p.m. This got posted roughly almost like four hours ago. We already seen 8 million transactions in that time frame. How crazy is that? When we go over to Metrica, in the last one hour, we've seen 2 million transactions pushed over Hedera. And in the one day, we're at 50 million, very similar to what we've been seeing in the past. But look at the accounts. Accounts being created are absolutely insane. In the one month, actually, let's go to the three months. So in three months, all right, look at the account growth here. 465,000 accounts, active accounts, 225,000. Insane. And uh, yeah, when we go over to Hedera, they made a little bit of a joke. Uh, the Hedera mainnet has officially processed over 4 billion transactions, always building, always growing, and always pushing the boundaries of DLT. Sorry we went from 3 billion to 4 billion so fast we didn't have time to create another graphic. Laugh out loud, I think it's turned out okay. And uh yeah, I mean, honestly, the Hedera ecosystem is going parabolic. It's very exciting, to say the least, to see this in real time. Um, I even said over on Twitter, I said, the Hedera ecosystem is on fire. HBAR had a strong break. Continuation couldn't hold up, but I expect the retest. Dovu going absolutely mad as well. I love, or sorry, I hope you HBAR variants are ready for the insane year ahead H bar and uh, I love to talk about a lot of these other tokens on the ecosystem. Um, a lot of these I don't really hold fully um, a ton of them, but I will say, and I actually do see this response down here with Galaxy. I will say full transparency. Galaxy has reached out to me to work with them on something. Um, I am going to be announcing that at some point in time if all goes well. But I'm very excited for Galaxy. As you guys know, I've been supporting Galaxy since day one when they first announced that they were building out on Hedera. I'm very excited for what they are doing. There's a lot of exciting things happening from Galaxy side as well. Um, so going forward, I think that we should all be paying attention to a lot of these ecosystem tokens because Dovu went absolutely insane today and uh, i do think that this is one of those tokens that are that is still very undervalued um if you guys haven't already checked out dovu i highly suggest you do because look at the all-time chart for this like this is still overlooked i mean going all the way back to 2017 2018 like this almost hit a dollar uh look at where we are at now so this is one of those tokens Again, you could only get it really on Uniswap right now, but I think that that's going to change eventually. I'm very excited to see where uh, Dovu is going forward on in time. Um, but on the three-month time frame, I mean, look at how ridiculous this chart looks. So, yeah, definitely go check out Dovu if you haven't already. Again, I don't really like to push a lot of these ecosystem tokens just because I don't have like a, a huge confidence behind a lot of them. Um, I like to stick with what HBAR is doing and what Hedera is doing simply because, hey... I like to support the ecosystem that these tokens are actually being built out on, but it's never a bad thing to hold a little bit of a bag of Dovu or Galaxy, etc. Um, but let's talk about some big, big news that we've seen as well. So, 
Shout out to Hello Future Zero One over on Twitter for this post. Uh, but they said, big news, Dubai introduces crypto regulations in partnership with Hedera Council member DLA Piper. The TOCO platform built out on Hedera used to support regulatory authority Vera. Um, and we do see down here from Hedera real quick. I'll go on to talk about the rest. But we do see in partnership with DLA Piper, Dubai has introduced virtual assets regulation with virtual asset regulatory authority Vera. Uh, DLA Piper's TOCO network supports Vera, providing tokenization and transfer to the new framework powered by Hedera. And this is huge. We're going to be talking about why. Um, so we do see down here, DLA Piper dedicated the global team of legal and regulatory experts from Dubai, Hong Kong, London, and Washington to support the creation of new regulation. It's been a complex and truly international effort from a cross-practice DLA Piper team, said Paul Allen, partner of DLA Piper. Christy Sch uh, Schwartz, partner at DLA Piper, led the project. Christy was recently elected co-chair and legal and also or of legal and regulatory committee of Hedera Governing Council with focus on global regulations and policy. Um, and then, yeah, when we take a look at how big this actually is as an opportunity, what I have been focused on with tokenization, I've talked about this in the past as well, this is a huge opportunity. You know, right now, as we do focus on the overall growth of the network and these transactions, like I've always said in the past, yes, 4 billion transactions looks great on paper, but in terms of the actual st uh, statistics behind this, this is not a massive amount of money being pushed over the network. Let's take a look at something that could very well provide a ton of revenue, value, volume, whatever you want to call it, being pushed over the network. So let's go over here to Toco real quick. Let's talk about this. So we do see down here, Toco, a cheaper, faster, and easier way to raise and manage capital using digital assets. Asset owners now have a fast track route to market with access to a wider audience of investors. Today's capital raise process is inefficient. Issuing securities is limited to traditional financial instruments and involves going through multiple parties. The auditors to investment banks to meet or yeah, sorry, sorry, from auditors to investment banks to meet regulatory compliance. Secondary markets such as trading and exchanges and over the counter markets are often limited to a handful of clients authorized to trade only when matched with other participants during market hours. Transactions like this can easily take multiple days uh, to settle and require manual execution of corporate actions such as dividend payments and voting. Through Toco, we can offer a cheaper, faster and easier solution. Now, Toco has always been the, the go to when we talk about Hedera tokenization, because I do think that Toco is, is it, it's just one of those uh, projects that I think has such an incredible opportunity within this market, because we've talked about it so many times in the past. And also with a name like DLA Piper behind this, I mean, you seriously can't go wrong. Um, I think that DLA Piper is a big, big game changer to the Hedera ecosystem. And I think that Toco is going to be one of those projects that allows the overall network growth of Hedera to truly overshadow anything in this market. Why do I think that? Well, let's take a look at real estate. So Toco recently changed their website a little bit, and I think it's for the better. So as we look at real estate, real estate tokenization is the biggest one that I've always talked about because this is the biggest market that is going to be tokenized. Structure and tokenize real estate portfolios and corporate bonds to increase liquidity, reduce cost, and accelerate time to market. And you can see the overall viewpoint here from the access to markets tab all the way down to data democratization. And you can see the REIT fund, and you can also see the tokenization aspect of all of this. This is a huge opportunity, and the key benefits are outlined down here in terms of increasing transparency, increasing investor pools, and also having that frictionless and quick transfer time uh, from ownership to ownership, and also with complete transparency and accuracy. And you can see what they are already doing with real estate in terms of regulations, bonds, and real estate financing. And when we take a look at this, like how big of an opportunity actually is this? Well, we've talked about it in the past. This is an over $300 trillion opportunity. And we do see from BlockWorks globally, real estate is valued at over $330 trillion, more than all stocks and securitized debt combined. And tokenization is becoming increasingly popular among investors in this industry. How crypto could disrupt the world's largest asset class. And this goes on to mention a few things. This goes in depth on a lot of things happening around tokenization. Um, and it really gives us a little bit of a viewpoint on things around this market. But one thing that I would love to note and one thing that I would make fully transparent with you guys is that it's not just going to be any blockchain and any project out there that does get picked for this. 
the the reason why I love to see DLA Piper behind something like Toco is because DLA Piper is a global um, legal uh, company, right? And as we look at DLA Piper and their overall background, their reputation, etc., it's going to be the number one choice for a lot of these huge enterprises and these massive companies to choose DLA Piper's Toco over anything else in the market because this is coming from a brand that most of these names already know. They could trust it. They understand it. But also, combined with the power and the potential of Hedera being one of the greenest, if not the greenest, network out there, this is going to be like the number one supported network out there, especially in terms of tokenization. So as we look at that $330 trillion market, yeah, I do think that Hedera can eat a large portion of this. But think about it like this. All Hedera really needs to do is capture 1% of this market in order for it to change rapidly in terms of the overall market, or I shouldn't say market, but network value and volume being pushed over this. That's why I've always talked about the real estate market, because I do think that tokenization outside of the norm, right? Because everybody looks at tokenization and they're like, oh, I'll, I'll just ignore it because, you know, who cares about digital pictures of monkeys and this and that? Like, no, tokenization is much larger than that. And in fact, I actually think that tokenization is what's going to allow for crypto uh, to balloon to astronomical heights in terms of like an asset class value. Um, but I also think that there's a lot of efficiencies tied to this. And remember, Toco is not just targeting uh, real estate. They have other solutions here in terms of like IP rights and entitlements are in media and also debt and project financing. So as we look at this, right, there is a lot of solutions here and Toco is empowering a, lo a large portion of them. But like I said, with who DLA Piper is, you can go to the About Us section on their website and learn more about them if you want. They have a strong legacy and a strong backing to them. They're focused on sustainability. Like they are hitting the nail on the head in every aspect possible in order to be that global leadership brand. And also, like when we take a look at their reputation, like their reputation is very strong. This is a company that almost any major corporation, any major um, enterprise, etc., can trust when they do go over to Toco and they're like, okay, well, we want to tokenize real estate. We want to tokenize um, IP rights and entitlements. We want to tokenize whatever they want to tokenize. They're going to go through something like Toco because of the names behind it. But also, as Hedera becomes a leading name in this space and as they continue to expand and as the ecosystem continues to take over, this $330 trillion market is not only ripe for disruption, but I do think that Hedera is the perfect choice for it due to the efficiencies behind Hedera. And this is not me just talking Hedera up because trust me, I think that this $330 trillion market, this asset class, is going to be fully disrupted by DLT technology. And no, no, like Hedera is not going to be the only major winner here. There's going to be other ones as well. But I do think that as we focus on this, Hedera is going to be a leading name behind tokenization of the real estate market. You're going to also have, you know, Ripple with the XRP ledger. You're going to have other major names out there as well. But I do think that what Hedera has been doing and what they've been preparing has been allowing them to be ahead of the game and preparing for this for a while. Remember Red Swan? In fact, I just recently tweeted to Red Swan about this because I wanted to get a little bit more of an in-depth view on if they're still working with Hedera or not because Red Swan has been ahead of the game in tokenizing real estate. They have been a big proponent name around that. So when we take a look at what Red Swan has been doing, Remember, they initially did work with Hedera. I don't know if they're working with them still. Uh, we did get confirmation that they were back in July of 2022, but things do change rapidly around this space. But tokenization of you know, real estate is a game changer. It's a big game changer, and it's a big market. And I do think that everyone should be focused on this. I think that tokenization of art so far has been the big one, but I think going forward, we're going to see a big change. And I think that tokenization very similar to AI, is going to be most likely the next narrative being pushed around this space. And if that's the case, make sure to be watching for Hedera because Hedera is going to be a leader within that area. So with that in mind, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did definitely have a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. Uh, so it's up to you all. Have a beautiful day. Beautiful night. If you guys are on this before, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.